the Guangzhou Charts were the favorite to come out of the A side bracket of the Eastern Knockouts, but they didn't even come second. They lost to Dreamer. In what universe does the number one seed lose to a contenders team? To make matters worse, Dreamers didn't even put up a fight against Hangzhou. They got decimated. This is pretty much all you need to prove that APAC is a fraudulent region. This was supposed to be the time that NA fans were finally exposed to the wonders of Choi Se Wan. But no, he will continue to be locked in APAC prison. And you know what? He does hold some of the blame. At the end of the day, as much as we praise the other players on this team, Choi needs to consistently be the best player in the lobby to get a win. Other things that the charge had going for them were helpful and made Choi's job easier, but they weren't getting the charge wins. Things like Piggy being hypnotized into having a decent Winston, the backline being pretty solid, especially for APAC, and Jimmy being the illegitimate father of hundreds of children are good, but they're not difference makers. To that point, Jimmy actually ran out of juice. There's no other way to put it. Ever since their loss to the Soul Infernal back in the qualifiers, Bro has not been performing to satisfaction. He went even against Dreamers. How do you go even? 36 final blows, 36 deaths against the contenders team? Bro would have been flamed on the ranked ladder. Did he go to church and the priests told him that sex before marriage will damn him to an eternity in hell or something? Like, get some consistency, bro. You've been doing this for three years now. This loss is not just on the players, though. As a team, they genuinely haven't improved since their first match of the season. Their strategies are exactly the same. Even as the meta started moving along with more rush being incorporated, they just kept on with the pigskin and a little bit of diva. The charge played eight minutes total of Ramatra, and every ounce of it was on one single map against the Spark in the winner's final. And sure, the Spark didn't play much Ramatra either, but when you have Gushue, that's a lot more understandable, and even then, the Spark have been playing more RAM recently. Guangzhou got complacent, didn't innovate, and now they're on the outside looking in. And of course, the nail in the coffin, the key factor that put them to rest, Choi se Wan had his worst game of the season at an extremely inopportune time. We were taking him for granted. Night in, night out, for the better part of three seasons, Choi has put on a show for us. But when he was needed most, in one of the most important matches of his career, he vanished. He still played half decent, but that is just not the Choi Guangzhou needed. That is not the roll star level player he has been all year long. This could be the beginning of a depressing narrative. Is Choi Se Wan a choker? Think about last year's play-ins. This same team choked a 2-0 lead to the Chengdu Hunters, and now they've choked to a contenders team. Both times, they were the heavy favorite. Both times, they lost tragically. So congratulations, Guangzhou. You fucked off and robbed NA of Choi Se Wan, tanked his Roll Star stocks, and have possibly started a legacy of choking. Do better. Choi deserves to be able to have an off game versus Dreamers.